This exercise is the number one exercise that you can do at home to increase your social skills. This appeals to anyone who's introverted, because you're like, I don't have to talk to people. I can do it at home. You can do it at home and you can do it alone. And it will get the biggest return on investment when it comes to improving your social skills. It's not easy though, but this is an absolute game changer and I wish I would have personally done this when I was way younger starting out. It's called the podcast exercise. No joke, all of you can do this. Absolute game changer. Okay, so here's the exercise. Pick a day once a week. Same time, same day, every week. So look at your schedule, whenever you have free time, schedule in one hour. During that hour, you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna set it up as if you were about to film a video podcast. Treat it as if it's about to go online. I'm sure you all have seen podcasts before and stuff. If not, go on YouTube, look at some examples, and ask yourself, what would my version of that be like? Set up your phone, best lighting you got, take it seriously, right? It's like, do my hair look nice? Sit down, press record, and flow for one hour. And fill that with one hour of content. No cuts, no edits, free flowing. You can prep beforehand if you like. Right? It's like, okay, what am I gonna talk about? You can try to fill it in. And then every single week you fill an hour of content. You film it as if it's about to go online. If you wanna post it, you can. But otherwise, once it's done, you then rewatch it and analyze it and treat it as if it's a professional podcast. Say, okay, if you were on YouTube and you fell on this podcast, what would your thoughts be? What could be improved? Look at the way you said X joke, X story. How could you say it better? Take notes, improve, and then next week, same thing. Week after, same thing. This will be an absolute game changer in terms of self-expression. You're gonna see how you come off if you're just very boring and monotone. You're like, this is Julian and welcome to the Julian podcast. And you're like, oh, this is so boring. Like, keep asking yourself, would I watch this? Am I hooked? And you might be hooked at first, and then you lose it. Or maybe you'd start off boring, and you say something that hooks you. Then ask yourself, okay, well, why was I hooked then, but not there? Why wasn't I hooked at first, but then I was hooked here? What was different? Was it in the delivery? Was it in the passion? Maybe some momentum built. Was it in the content? What about it? Make a note. You'll also see how you come off, because there tends to be a big discrepancy between how you think you come off and how you actually come off. I've seen this for years where people are like, I'm such a positive person, yet they're never smiling. They think they're smiling, but they aren't. I'm like, give me a smile. Like, I'm like, that's your smile? It's like, smile. It's like, it hurts, Julian. It hurts. I'm like, smile. It's like, it hurts. They think they are, but they aren't. Or they think they're loud, but they aren't. They've adjusted, you could say, the internals. Like say you're always quiet, you adjust it to think this is, what I, this is what normal sounds like. So that then when you speak louder, internally it feels like you're screaming, but it actually comes out normal. Same with expression. Oh, I think I'm so charismatic and moving around, but in reality you're just moving your thumbs. You're blind to it, we have blind spots to this. Seen it in video, it's like, oh gosh. I remember the first time I recorded some videos, I would watch it and a few things were, whoa, I thought I was way cooler than this. I'm so ugly, et cetera. Like all this stuff came up. Really valuable, by the way. You can improve or let go. Combine the two. But watch it, analyze it. This will do so much. So you'll see in terms of delivery, you'll see in terms of content. Chances are too, you're gonna quickly run out of content. And then you're gonna start freaking out and saying, oh, next week's coming up. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? And it will force you, it'll force your selective focus for you to take your RAS, reticular activating system, look it up, and direct it towards eventful things that are happening in your life, in your day to day. Like say it's like, okay, every Monday I'm doing the podcast, you're done with one, next Monday's coming. What am I gonna say, what am I gonna fill it up with? Well, you're gonna start collecting events throughout your day. You're like, okay, what about today uh, stands out? Ooh, this little thing, how could I turn that into some content for the podcast? How could I turn this into some content for the podcast? What about that? and you're gonna start collecting interesting stories day to day and also analyzing your past. In terms of running out of things to say, you should never run out of things to say if you're doing this podcast. Like even think of running out of things to say, that's an injustice to life. All of you have been alive how many years? You've experienced how many things? 
and you don't have anything to say about life, you're like, well, I have nothing to share in terms of my experience. It's really not been much. No, you all do. You always have something to say. This will force you, okay, well, what are some of the most interesting things? Top things you can say. How can you say them in a more interesting way? And you'll see it too, analyzing it. And when you analyze it, say, how could I make it better? How could I make it better? How could I make it better? Beyond that, now you can start looking at podcasts of other people, other creators. You can even look up comedian podcasts. And what you're going to start noticing is how they deal with what you're dealing with. Meaning, how do they transition topic to topic in a podcast? Do any of you know? Unless you're doing your own podcast, I doubt you do. Because you view it as a consumer, not a creator. You're like, entertain me, podcast. Take my attention away from my problems. As opposed to, how are you doing what you're doing? Huh. How do they switch topic to topic? How do they deal when maybe there's a, a kink in the flow? How do they do it when they start out a sentence one way and they wanted to start it, uh, start it out another way? That happens, by the way. That'll forever happen. In this event alone, there are many times where I started a point this way, and I was like, in my mind, I'm like, hmm, I wanted to start it that way. But then you learn, with this art, of directing it back to what you want. As opposed to, oh, let me start over. That was me at first. I start a video, I'm like, oh, I said it the wrong, let me start over, let me start over, let me start over. Versus, no, I, I got this, I can link it back to what I was gonna say. And you'll start seeing it in others. You'll start seeing too, okay, well, how much of their podcast is humor? How much is information? How do they go about it? What resonates with me? And then you'll apply it to yourself. You'll learn more and there'll be this beautiful synergy and you'll reach a point where you're very familiar with your way of expression. You know all these interesting things, never run out of things to say. And then you combine it by talking to three people a day with a connecting side and you crush it. But this exercise at home, absolute key. The one I did, by the way, starting out was simply doing um, five minute video blogs about uh, a random object. Like I'd be like, okay, so this matcha thing, I'm like, I pull out I had a little flip Sony camera. I'm like, this is Julian. What I want to talk about today is this matcha drink. As you can see here, there's a uh, blue straw and there's a little cup here. Uh, my friend gave this to me. And anyway, with matcha, I did it and just talk for five minutes and treat it as if it was going on YouTube. Because I could not talk in front of a camera, by the way, starting out. I mentioned before how scared I was in front of a crowd. <sighs> in front of a camera, it was so bad. Um, it took, I remember the first time I went to in this little studio and I had to record like a 30 second intro to a, a blog I had. It was called julianlife.com at the time. It's not there anymore. But anyway, it's like, okay, 30 second intro. All you have to pretty much say is, this is Julian, welcome to my blog. It's about this, enjoy. That's it, that's it. Went in this little studio and spent 12 hours, <laughs> 11 to 12 hours straight with like the lights sweating and retakes and like couldn't nail the 30 seconds, could not. Then spent a few more times and finally nailed it on the rooftop of this building I was staying at, where it also took a few hours. I'm like, oh, this is Julian. Oh, one more time. This is Julian. Finally got it. It was terrible. Because I kept analyzing it too. I kept thinking, oh, this is going on on video. What are people going to think? How do I come off? How do I look? How's my delivery? This could be better. Da, da, da. All those concerns will get activated during the podcast. Yeah? <clears throat> this is Julian. Uh, welcome to my blog. I'm here in Los Angeles right now on the rooftop of my apartment, as you can tell by the view in the background. And I want to share with you here some of my ideas, experiences, you know, anything that has been working for me and that will hopefully help you out as well. So check the blog. I'll be updating it regularly every Tuesday and Thursday. And I hope you enjoy. One more take, one more take. So check the blog. I'll be updating it regularly with... Ah! This is Julian, welcome to my blog. Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles right now on the rooftop of my... This is Julian, welcome to my blog. Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles right now on the rooftop of my apartment, as you can tell by the view in the background. The podcast encompasses everything. And if it's easy to do once a week, do it twice a week. Do it three times a week, do it four times a week. Stretch yourself, challenge yourself. If you think you don't have time, rearrange your life. If you don't have one hour free a week, what are you doing? Prioritization is needed. If it cuts into your Netflix, good. You'll get a much bigger return on investment. And you'll reach a point too where this becomes fun. It's not even a chore, it's actually fun. You get into a really good flow. 
Like there's, there's nothing more, I mean, there are a few things, but there's very few things that beat this experience of just authentically sharing who you are and your experience of life. That's public speaking. That's social skills. That's a podcast. It's really that. What am I even doing here? I'm just sharing my experience of life. Why do you even listen to podcasts? Right? For example, um, people are really like Joe Rogan, which I, I like his podcast, but like people are super fans. It's like, is it even for the information? No, you just watch it because you like Joe Rogan. You like the vibe. You like how he makes you feel. Like you'd watch it with someone talking about a topic you don't really even care about. You're like, but it's Joe Rogan. It's fun. Of course, content plays a bit, but it's really vibes. Like, how does this make me feel? You watch content about comedians talking about the most boring things, but you're like, but they make it funny. It makes me fun. I, I like the experience. Well, what's your version? How could you create that? And, it, and here's also the challenging core belief behind it. Can you? Maybe a belief gets activated. Mm, I'm too boring. My life's too boring. I can't compete with that. All of you can. You should be able to top that. You should look at every comedian podcast and say, I can do better. And you all can, if you believe it. I don't view it like, oh, I'm going to try to be a B version of that. I'm going to top that. Not in a little competing, egoic way, but I'm going to say, I'm going to use this as inspiration to tap into my authenticity and be the best version that I could be. And I'm going to crush it. All of you should do the same. Even when you say, look at me speak here, what would be your version? I do this, again, like I said, I love comedy shows. I go to comedy shows. Same thing. I'm like, what's my version? What's my version? I'm loving it. I'm inspired. But I always keep thinking, how would I do up there? If you're not thinking that, or if there's too much of a disconnect, you're like, I could never. So why even engage in those thoughts? Work to be done. 